drives it into right center field, hit a ton. This baby is way back. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. And today, gonna finish my series on grading the 2019 San Francisco Giants. And we're going to the bullpen. The bullpen had been a major issue for the Giants for several years, especially in 2016. It had gotten better. In fact, in 2019, it was kind of one of their strong points, at least in 2018 and moving into 2019. It was like, okay, we got a pretty good bullpen here. And they were pretty good, unfortunately, their closer, Will Smith, became a free agent. He is now with Atlanta. So Will Smith won't be coming back, but a lot of these other guys will, and that's who we're going to focus on. So Will Smith, not going to give him an official grade. I probably would have given him an A or an A-. minus. I mean, he was really good, but he's no longer with the Giants. So moving on, let's talk about some of these guys who were with the Giants in 2019. And I'm going to start with a guy named Trevor Gott. This guy was claimed off waivers from Washington, he was a very quality arm in 2019. He gave up just 41 hits in 51.2 innings and struck out 57 batters. ERA a little up at 4.44. He got a little bit roughed up, especially towards the end of the year. But all in all, I thought Trevor Gott looks great coming out of the bullpen. I wouldn't say absolutely dominant, but it looked like he wasn't having any problems getting guys out. His arm looked good. His stuff looked good. And uh, he was a nice reliever and a very nice piece in that bullpen. And I know win-loss record doesn't matter that much, especially with the relievers, but he was 7-0, and if that means anything. 7-0, and so not bad there. Looking forward to having him back in 2020. That's going to be a really nice piece in the bullpen. Going to give him a solid B+. Plus. Next up, the lefty specialist, Tony Watson. Was real glad to pick up Tony Watson a few years ago. He had been really good in 17, 18, but in 2019, he didn't look as sharp. He kind of struggled a little bit, struggled with his command, and uh, just didn't have the best season. In fact, his ERA jumped from 2.59 in 2018 to 4.17. Strikeouts per nine went from 9.8 down to 6.8. So overall, not too effective, but he did have his share of quality outings where he came in and got the job done. He got the lefty out and things like that. I mean, I, I, multiple times I can remember him doing well. I was surprised that his stats were as bad as they were because I don't remember him being horrible, but I do remember several times he did get hit hard. He get, did get roughed up. So it wasn't the best year for him. It wasn't a horrific year. Glad he's coming back and hopefully he has a bounce back year in 2020, but I can't give him a super high grade. I'm going to give him a C plus. Next up, maybe my favorite pitcher out of the bullpen, Reyes Moronta. This guy was sick. This guy just deals. I mean, he was really, really good in 2019. Unfortunately, he had a torn labrum and his season ended early and he won't even be ready to rock and roll in 2020 until at some point in the middle of the year. Nevertheless, he had a nice year, 2.86 earned run average, just 41 hits given up in 56 plus innings with 70 strikeouts. That is impressive. Had a little bit of control issues by walking 33 guys. And of course, as I mentioned, he got injured, so he wasn't able to finish the year. But all in all, I was happy with Moronta, and I hope that he'll be recovered soon and back in that bullpen. Gonna give him an A-. minus. Next up, the rookie, Sam Coonrod. He can throw hard. He gets it up there, 97, 98. He can dominate hitters. He looked pretty good. Not great every time, but he was a rookie, and hopefully he will be an important piece to that bullpen going forward. His ERA was up about 3.58, but again, he can throw hard. He can strike guys out. He's got a lot of potential. Gave up just 19 hits in 27 plus innings, and again, just a young kid here, just getting into the big leagues. Hopefully he does better in 2020. Not that he did bad, because I think for his first year coming up as a reliever, he did fantastic. And I have to give him a decent grade. I feel like the ERA was up a little bit. I feel like he got hit hard from time to time. But all in all, as a rookie, I think he did pretty good. Since you're new here, uh, I'm going to cut you a break today. So I'm going to give him a B plus. Next up, this is a guy who was in the Giants organization in the minor leagues, toiling away for seven years, riding buses, but dominating many of those seven years. And the Giants, I don't know what happened. They just forgot about him. What happened? Why didn't they promote Tyler Rogers? This guy was pitching lights out for years, especially with the River Cats. Talking about a 2.37 ERA in 2017, then improved 2.13 in 2018, never gets promoted until finally he gets his chance in 2019, 
he comes up and gives up two runs in 17 plus innings. It's a small sample size, but he still dominated during that small sample size that he got. He looks really good. I wanted to talk about him and give him a grade because I think he is going to be a big piece moving forward. Hopefully, he continues to dominate. I think they wasted a lot of his good years by letting him stay in AAA, but hopefully he has plenty of good years left. This guy reminds me of like Chad Bradford, if you remember from the Moneyball, the book and the movie. He was with the Oakland A's in the early 2000s. He was a submariner and people thought he pitched funny, so they didn't want to give him a chance. And that's why the A's got him cheap and he was a great reliever for them. Well, this guy could be a great reliever for the Giants. So what if he pitches funny or submarine? That's that's the point. Batters are not used to seeing it. It's deceptive. Let him go out there, see if he can get the job done. I'm going to give him, I can't give him an A plus because of the small sample size, but I'm going to give him a solid A. Another guy with a small sample size is Handel Gustave. Gave up just eight hits in 24 plus innings, 2.96 ERA. Former Astros prospect, he had Tommy John, but he came back and he was solid. He struck out 29 in 29 in AAA. Really enjoyed watching this guy and looking forward to him being in the bullpen going forward. Again, very small sample size, but I'm gonna give him a nice B plus. And there were several guys who really didn't pitch enough innings to give a solid grade to, but they looked good at times, and they'll be part of the bullpen moving forward. Guys like Sam Selman. Sam Selman was absolutely dominant in AAA. Look for him in 2020. Connor Menez, look for him in 2020. Anderson Franco, maybe he might help out too in 2020. There are a lot of arms that are pretty good and did well in AAA. Got a very small sample size in the big leagues. Looks pretty good, but not enough to grade. But there are a couple of guys who were starters and relievers last year who I did not talk about in my starter segment. And I got to talk about these guys because they could be important parts of the Giants, either rotation or bullpen. Probably bullpen for this guy, and that's going to be Sean Anderson. A Definitely a solid arm. Came over, I believe, from the Red Sox in the Eduardo Nunez deal, if I'm not mistaken. But Sean Anderson can throw some heat, especially coming out of the bullpen, because he can just rear back and freaking fire. He was hitting 95, 96 on the gun, but he had a high ERA on the season. It was 5.44. He gave up 111 hits in just 96 innings. Not great, but I felt like when he went to the bullpen, he looked more dominant. He looked more comfortable. And if you do a little research, he actually was a reliever in college. He never started in college. So he was converted to a starter at some point. Starter, 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 <clears throat> starter, starter. He was converted to a starter at some point. But now he's back in the bullpen. So we'll see what happens. Obviously, he can go back to the rotation. But I think I like him in the bullpen. He could be a closer. He could be a, a setup man. I mean, he's got good stuff. So Sean Anderson is someone to look forward to in 20. 20 as far as his 2019 performance overall it'd probably be like a c maybe a c minus but based on just the bullpen since this is a bullpen segment i'm just going to focus on his time coming out of the bullpen and i thought he looked pretty good i'm gonna give him a b minus and last a guy i did not talk about in my starter segment because i don't know where he's going to be in 2020 but that's Derek rodriguez and i I like Derek Rodriguez in the rotation because I visualize that 2018 Derek Rodriguez, the guy who we're talking about maybe is going to be a rookie of the year candidate. He was just dominating, putting up goose eggs every inning. The guy looks great. And I'm like, awesome. I don't know where this guy came from. Well, I know where he came from. He came from Yvonne Rodriguez. But this guy was awesome. And I really, really was excited to see him in the rotation in 2019 because I'm like, here we go. We got Even if he is not as good. He's still freaking, I mean, this guy is a definite starter. Put him in there, at least as a four or five guy. That's one guy we don't got to worry about. But unfortunately, he got roughed up in 2019. He didn't pitch well. He got sent back to the minors. He couldn't control, I mean, it's not that he was walking people, but he was throwing the ball right over the plate and just leaving it up there, and the ball was getting crushed. He was just not locating properly, and uh, he got completely destroyed out there. Sent back to the minors, came back, and out of the bullpen, I think he did better. He had some nice outings, but all in all, I mean, I thought it was a disappointing year for Derek Rodriguez. I don't know where he's going to be going forward. I would love to see him have a bounce back year and be back in that rotation. I feel like he belongs in that rotation, but you can't be in that rotation if you can't get guys out and you're getting freaking roughed up every time you go out there. So Derek Rodriguez, expectations were probably that he would pitch somewhere close to what he did in 18. Hopefully the same, maybe even a little better. You're supposed to get better, but you know, can't really expect him to repeat that performance as it turned out he went downhill so a tough year for him can't give him a high grade I'm not going to give him a horrible grade because again 
The guy was all right at times coming out of the bullpen. He seemed to do better when he came back. He pitched well in AAA, came back, saw some improvement. But all in all, disappointing year for Derek Rodriguez. I'm going to give him a C-. minus. So thank you for checking out my grading the 2019 Giants again. Guys to look forward to. Also, Wandy Peralta is another guy that's going to be pitching in 2020. So look out for these guys in 2020. The bullpen could be good. It could be awful. You just don't know how these guys are going to bounce back. We'll see what happens with Sean Anderson. We'll see what happens with some of these guys. If they can continue to pitch well out of that bullpen or if they can start to pitch well out of that bullpen if they haven't been. So that's the question in 2020. Looking forward to it anyway. Can't wait. What do you guys think of the bullpen? Thanks again, everybody, for joining me. Hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. I would really appreciate it if you're not subscribed. Really helps me out a lot. Hit that thumbs up button. Means a lot to me. We're going to be talking Giants all off season long, getting ready for 2020, coming live with pregame shows, postgame shows. We're going to be doing it all. Baseball, 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 right here on the Hum Baby Baseball channel. Don't miss it. Hit subscribe. Talk to you next time. See ya. When the Giants come to